So I've discovered a definite gem in the very east of Edmonton's West Mount neighborhood, and that is the Edmonton Grads Park. So who are the Edmonton Grads, you ask? Well, they were actually a women's basketball team formed in 1914, and they played for 25 years. Now, in that 25 years, they played both against the men's and women's basketball teams, and out of the 522 games they actually played, they won 502 of them with a winning streak one time of 147 games. That is incredible. In fact, they even played four Olympic exhibition games because women's basketball was not recognized at that time, and they won every single game at the exhibition. Now, the success of the Edmonton grads can be attributed to one person, and that is not an individual player. In fact, the coach actually said that he did not favor players, but he favored the entire team. And who is that coach? Well, out of an unfortunate coin toss, he lost and had to teach the women's gym class. But out of that, J. Percy Page, who now has a school named after him, ended up coaching this team for 25 years to their success, including the very last year. In 1940, J. Percy Page left a very successful basketball coaching career to a very successful political career. He was elected as an independent representing Edmonton, later becoming the official opposition leader, and then the eighth lieutenant governor in Alberta, succeeded only by Grant McEwen. The grads were disbanded in 1940, but their legacy lives on in both men's and women's basketball history alike. This park was dedicated in 1989 as a tribute to the Edmonton grads. Of course, if you come to this park, you can also play a bit of basketball as well. Just remember to bring a few women with you. It's definitely part of Edmonton's athletic history that I didn't know very much about, and now I quite revere the team. And that's my latest adventure. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, share, comment, like, and subscribe for more. You can also follow me on Twitter or my second channel with daily vlogs.